Hello there friends! Today we are going even deeper into the catacombs below Tristram. We're at level 2 and I am excited to see if there is another cool quest here. We got the arcane valor last time. The armor we're wearing right now. Super cool. And I suspect that there still is some interesting things. Yeah, look at that. Gold shrine. Ooh, I don't remember what gold shrines are. I mean, maybe, oh, oh, well, there's a lot of goats over there, so, <laughs> I guess it's their shrine. Oh, oh, snap, okay. Don't know how dangerous these guys are, but there are a lot of them, so, let's not get too cocky. They seem to have no trouble hitting me, uh, so, I guess they, they aren't that concerned about the Arcane's Valor, they just smack me anyway. I, I love killing these gold, by the way. Not only the, the uh, archers, which is a little bit better, even better than killing these guys, but the the hit sound when you hit them, and uh, when they uh, do that little bit of an agonizing sound when they go to the ground, like, oh, boy. you can feel it. You hit them. They're hurting. That's what you need from a hit. I, I've been saying this a lot, like, oh, I don't remember what's coming next, and then something comes up, and I go, oh, yeah, 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 I remember this. So, uh, <laughs> I, I, I think I'm telling the truth when I'm telling you that I, I seriously have no idea. <laughs> and uh, I guess we'll see how truthful that that, that is. Oh, 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 we got... So, they're just... <laughs> they're coming out. Alright. Well. So that was the goat shrine. It's just a shrine for a bunch of goats. Well, it makes sense. I mean, it's a very little, or little shrine. But... <laughs> Come on, guys. Just check this out. Uh, no. Hit him. Come on. I think I'm getting a little bit too cocky. Because um, these guys are not presenting much of a challenge. I don't even have to use the health potions on my belt. I hope I don't have to eat my words, uh, by the way. Oh, I'm trying to press Alt to see what's on the ground. But that's the Diablo 3 thing. Probably the Diablo 2 thing as well. Okay, Goat Shrine. What happens with it? Crimson and Azure becomes as the sun. Oh, I should have had this open. Oh, I'm a level up. I leveled up. I forgot about it. Let's uh, put more dexterity so I hit stuff. Crimson and Asia becomes as the sun. No idea what that means. We're gonna go another one without any vitality. I am so freaking brave. Building my glass cannon, two handed axed warrior of pure testosterone, just walking around the catacombs, messing up de demons left and right. Mm mm mm. Oh! Oh jeez, they're like charging! Oh, don't get surrounded. I was trying to fight there, but I was missing every click, so I, just, I was walking around them instead. Come on, dude! Bam! You hear that? Okay, Okay. next time uh, I'll be quiet when I kill one of these goats. I know, it's a lot to ask for me to be quiet, right? Okay, look at this guy. That's a nice hit. And one more. Okay, he, I thought he was gonna die on the second hit. Okay, okay, guys, take it easy. Looks like you're using actual tactics trying to get around me. Just because I refuse to use the door, but. I mean. Oh! Oh! I didn't see this at all! Jesus, I must be so blind. You ch uh, check out my uh, health potions. You see? So, Crimson, Health Potions, and Azure, uh, Mana Potion, becomes as the Sun. The yellow ones, the full Rejuvenation Potions. So it was just a pure upgrade of all my potions. This is my, my sight has to be really bad because my, my eyes did not, like, did not get pulled to what changed on screen. And these obviously went from red to yellow. Starting to get worried about my uh, <laughs> my reactions 
to things on screen. I think my uh, Counter-Strike days are over. I wouldn't notice if someone just jumped into my face. I wouldn't be able to shoot them. I would be like, who, what? Who shot me? <laughs> Which is, to be honest, most of the case when I play like Modern Warfare or something. I have no idea where people are shooting from, and I just die. And I go, well, where the hell was that guy? And it turns out he was right in front of me. Come on. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, they did a fast surround there. But then they left. Mm, you had me. You were just not quite aggressive enough. You little bats. Come on, come on, Goldman. These are some buff dudes. Look at these guys. Seems a waste to to kill these guys. They've been spending a lot of time in the gym. Uh, flash? Okay. Can I use that? No. Look, I, I'm... They can't even hit me. My arcane valor is too good. I take back what I said earlier, but the, that uh, people just ignore my uh, armor and hit me anyway. This seems to be an amazing armor. There's a lot of doors around here. Let's get Okay. Oh, battle that. Oh, we got a special, special. Oh, don't block the door. Come through here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Death Shade Flesh Maul. That is a uh, a name you come up with when you're 13. <laughs> or if you're like disturbed. I mean the band, not disturbed like in your head. Although that was probably also, also be true. Boom! Dead. Too much um, baggage. I do not agree, warrior sir. That is not too much baggage. Come on. That made. Easily fits right there. This guy has no Tetris skills. And we got a battle axe. How much damage do a battle axe do? Ooh, 65, 10 to 25. Well, it turns out I desperately need 65 strength. Ooh. Oh, and look at that. That almost looks like a Diablo 3 weapon. <laughs> they just go overboard with the. Uh, they're putting blades and edges and spikes on everything. To the point where like an armor or a weapon would be impossible to hold on to without cutting yourself. That is always a funny thing in fantasy games, that like the 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 higher up you go, like with your weapons, they need to look cooler and they just look more and more advanced. But making something look like one of those fantasy blades with curves everywhere, spikes everywhere, maybe like two blades with a hole in the middle. That just makes it really hard to fight with. I mean, there's a reason blades look why they do. Like, the, the simplicity is everything when it comes to that sort of stuff. But I guess it's not very fun to find a, a weapon that just looks absolutely normal. Too much baggage. No, there's not too much baggage. Come on. Healing, healing, holy bolt. Okay, let's throw the holy bolt. Oh, oh, come on, dude. Stop shooting arrows at me. I'm reveling at my helm. I don't have any identify? No. I have one, two, three town portals. Okay, we need to really clear out some room here. Let's do it. We're going back. Going back to town. And maybe we're going to use that mace. Uh, I had a shield here, I think. Still don't have a mission though. Maybe I'll I'll, I'll do a quick swing by all of the uh, all of the characters and talk to them, and then I'll just uh, make an edit if nobody presented me with a quest. Uh, let's see, shield of protection. Yeah, this is the one right now. Oh, this is a small one. Anyway, let's identify stuff. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. The helm is bad. <laughs> This is the light radius again. Look, I know that light radius seems cool because we're down in dark catacombs, but I have a brightness setting in the option, so don't need it. Maze steals 3% mana. Not interesting either. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Okay. I'm gonna leave this. I'm gonna pick these up. I'm gonna carry this battle axe with me so that when I uh, level up enough and hit 65, oh, no, I'm gonna leave it here. So 
I don't have to go up to town all the time. Uh, flash, healing, healing. Oh, can we use the Club of the Mind to... Yeah. Ah, oh, look at that. That is awesome. Club of the Mind. What what a find that, that that turned out to be. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick run and talk to all of the characters. And uh, if nobody says anything and gives me a quest, then I guess uh, you're not gonna... You're just gonna be edited, right? We're back. Ooh, down in the catacombs we go. And now we look like a true hero with a sword and a shield. Although an axe is way cooler. Just say. Uh, I'm gonna read this book after. Holy Bolt. Mm -hmm. I think the higher the spell level, the more mana it takes, right? So it's actually not all that good to just increase spell levels if you can't handle the, the mana cost of them. Uh, but I might just be um, remembering wrong as well. Oh, there was a guy out there? Okay. Come here, dude. Come here, Mr. Gold Buff Man. Smack! Oh, Jesus, that did a lot of damage. I didn't think they would die on one hit once I uh, took the one-handed sword instead. How about you? You gonna die in one hit? Yes, you are, huh? Wow. Okay, I'll come back for you archers later. I need to check out this room. To be honest, I'm not too concerned about them. This doesn't seem like they can hit me very well. Uh, my armor class is probably just way too high for them. Uh, which is unfortunate, because it makes it a little bit less of a challenge. You did. And this is the trick, right? If you want to uh, know how to how to get to these guys, you just uh, go and try and try and corner them into a wall. So instead of going straight for them, you kind of go so they run into the corner. There, you see? And then it's pretty easy to take care of them. The problem is if you don't have a corner. And you need to chase them around the whole freaking map. Okay, we got another shrine. Uh, okay, character up. Let's see. Drinks there. What is gonna change? We got the base, 56, 15, 36, 40. The powers of mana refocuses and, and renews. Oh, man, I refocus this every new. Well, this is not regenerating. What? Hmm. Oh, that's still not how you do it. Jesus, I don't know how I uh, how how long it's gonna take for me to uh, quit a bad habit of pressing ex escape to go out of the character and inventory menus. Come on, dude. Get smacked. Come on, get over here. Get over. There we go. Oh, I can't. I cannot wait for both Diablo 2 Resurrected. Mm. Oh, Jesus, I want that game so bad. And I even want Diablo 4 more. I was on the edge when it came to Diablo 4. Uh, let me tell you that I was like, I was pretty underwhelmed when they announced it. But seeing their quarterly update now, latest one, and seeing their gameplay and like the heaviness of combat and everything. Jesus, Diablo 4 is looking very good. I mean, it's not gonna be like Diablo 1, you still have the uh, a little bit of a power fantasy and you fight swarms of uh, enemies instead. So it doesn't really have the same pace. Uh, I would love like a slower paced Diablo, but um, to be honest, I, I don't expect that I'm gonna get that ever. Uh, so Diablo 4 just looks about as good as it can do. And, ooh, Whew. Oh, more. Jesus, come on, guys. You, you chill by the fountain? I feel bad. This just seems like the smoking area of the catacombs, you know? <laughs> God, smoking room. We built a little bit of fountain there. So here, here's all the cool guys that... They're just hanging around. <laughs> fountain of tears. Okay, well... That's uh, not encouraging. Uh, last time we got less uh, less strength and more magic when you touch one of these, so let's see what happens now. Why didn't I check first? 56. We got more vitality, I saw that one. But we must have gotten less of something. Oh well. So, 
I wonder what the warrior did there. Did he drink the tears? Whose tears is it? Like, where does it come from? Is it the goat's tears? Are they that sad? Because now I feel bad for killing them. Or maybe not. Maybe I should put them out of their misery in that case. So far, level 6 is uh, not presenting me with much challenge. Lord Shield. Ooh, is that a mission? No, Religious Shrine. <laughs> not any specific, just religious, you know. What is that shrine? Oh, it's religious. Oh, oh, you don't say. <laughs> oh, they didn't really have a... They didn't really know what to put there, I think. If it was Diablo 2, it would be a Shrine of the Zagaru. Let's see what we do. Time cannot diminish the power of steel. Okay, okay. I haven't checked, but I'm guessing from the little bit of a wordplay there that all my uh, durability of everything is repaired. All the swords and everything. Ah, 20 out of 20. 40 out of 40. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything. Got oh, Jesus. Stop pressing escape. Oh, turn it. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I was correct. Oh, here we got, here we got the breasts. Okay, okay. Check. Oh, I can't get in there. Oh, there's some sort of a tricksy trick to get in there. Hmm. Chamber of Bone. The name everything's so cool as well. What's that chamber? Oh, that's the Chamber of Bone. Oh, what's in there? I mean, bones. <laughs> Technically, the Chamber of Bone and Catacomb is the same thing, right? I mean, Catacombs is just Chambers of Bones. Ha <laughs> ha! Dodge your freaking fireball. And I guess this is how we open it, that book. Let's just clear out this place first before we start reading. Mythical book. How do you know it's a mythical book before you open the book? I mean, it's just a book, right? And then after you read it, you'll be like, oh, it was a mythical one. Or maybe you can judge a book by its cover, actually. All right, let's read it. Less, less talking from me and more talking from the game. Beyond the Hall of Heroes lies the Chamber of Bone. Eternal death awaits any who would seek to steal the treasures secured within this room. So speaks the Lord of Terror, and so it is written. Lord of Terror speaks that. And eternal death, isn't that to be assumed? The death is eternal. Ah, uh, maybe if you don't, if you have a soul and stuff, I guess. <laughs> All right, so let's see. So Diablo himself has locked away this room. Oh, and now it actually opened. So he's like, hey, here's all my treasures, but if you go in here, I'm gonna kill you forever. Okay. Then naturally, we need to go in. Okay. Chamber of Bone. We got some oh, horror captains. Why did I stop fighting one guy and that was not that guy. Oh no, the unseen! Oh, I remember these guys. These guys killed me more than anything else because you stand fighting in a doorway and go, ha ha, as usual, they can't figure it out. And then one of these guys show up behind you and all of a sudden you're surrounded. Whew, it's the worst. Level up. Here we go. I'm gonna put. There, 60 strength, so that next level up, I can go all the way to 65. So potentially if I find any nice axes, or if I want to use the one in town, I can. So these hidden, unseen guys, uh, they were the, the boon of my existence, I think is how you phrase it. Because I just couldn't... Uh, it was hard to um, know when they showed up, because they were well. As the name suggests, they are unseen. Oh! Oh! Nasty hit! Get out of here! Damn. To be honest, I thought that would hurt more. I think we're getting a little bit too powerful. I keep saying that. And I'm gonna keep saying that until I die. I do like the death animation of that guy. Just cut the head off him. Okay, skull lever. Yeah. Any lever is better pulled than not pulled, I say. Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 we got burned by the cross. Oh, I actually remember, I, uh, this is, um, in this quest, this is the first time I saw uh, game lore dash. 
Or maybe I said that in the wrong order. Uh, he's a YouTuber. He does uh, Diablo lore. Super cool. Uh, I really recommend. If you're into like Diablo and want to know more about the history about Diablo and everything, check him out. He had a video about the Chamber of Bone that was recommended to me. Uh, so I clicked that one and then went, oh, oh wow. This guy knows what he's talking about. I'm gonna subscribe to this guy. Okay, what's in here? We pulled the second lever. Oh, we got a ring somewhere. Ah, oh, ring, great axe, some of this cap. stuff. Ooh, what a find that is. Yeah, just just drink some stuff. Get that. Oh, that is a crazy axe too. Great axe. I think that's the best possible axe you can find. Get this uh, magic shield, I don't need it. I'll get the cat. I, I don't think I'm gonna use it because it only has uh, armor 3, but it could potentially have like a plus magic or something that lets me read more magic books. Uh, so that part I really like. Maybe I'll do some charged bolts on this, guys. Uh, this doesn't seem like this is very powerful for me to do it. Probably because it's still level 1. I still have to hit them a couple of times after hitting them with Charge Bolt. A magician? This guy is not. A magician. Oh, another a an amulet? Are you kidding Too much baggage. Well. Okay, well. Drink this, drink that. Drink this. So we can uh, at least... Oh, I could just throw it down here. Well, I'm not the most clever person, am I? Healing, town portal. Let's do a town portal this time. Time to go back. I'm starting to find so much more stuff. And I like stuff. In general. So that's a good thing. Acts of puncturing. Uh, we're gonna be selling a lot of this stuff. I don't really use the money though, so I don't Hello, know much friend. why Stay I should sell it. Listen. Cap. Alright. Oh, do you see? Cap of Brilliance. Plus 12 to magic. What did I tell you? That's amazing. Maybe I should wear it and shoot stuff. Like, use magic more. The helm is vital. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's a good helm. Alright, well, nice. Amulet. Absorb half damage. What? Trap damage. Oh, wow. Jesus. I don't, I don't even notice when a trap hits me. Great axe. Uh, 80 strength plus 51% damage. Heavy axe. Oh heck yes, I'm leaving this in town for later. Mace. More maces, maces of the bat. Well, okay. Chance to hit plus 11. Well, that's awesome. The hunter's bow adds 5.2 damage. Well, uh, I don't use bow, so... And I'm gonna put on this little cap. Read this. And I'm gonna grab that club. <laughs> Jesus, I'm becoming a freaking mage. Telekinesis. Oh, I still can't hit 39. All right, that's for later. Then. And I guess we're gonna need to talk to everyone about the Chamber of Bone. So, time to talk to the townsfolk. We'll start with Decker this time, because he probably knows the most, Hello, as my usual. Friend. Stay up. A book that speaks of a chamber of human bones? Well, a chamber of bone is mentioned in certain archaic writings that I studied in the libraries of the East. These tomes inferred that when the lords of the underworld desired to protect great treasures, they would create domains where those who died in the attempt to steal that treasure would be forever bound to defend it. A twisted, but strangely fitting end. Mm, very much like uh, I'm reading one of the Diablo books now, The Legacy of Blood, and uh, that is the point of that one as well. They go into a chamber in the beginning, and it's defended by everyone who previously died to the traps of that chamber. Uh, and that has to do with the Warlord of Blood. And to my memory, there is a quest about the Warlord of Blood in Diablo 1, but I, as, as I've been saying repeatedly, like my memory of this is very fuzzy. Time to talk to my favorite character. Time to sell drink in peace? Okay, so listen. Okay. There's this chamber of woods. Yeah. And his wife, you know, her, tells the tree. Because she got away. 
Then I says it yeah. might work against him, but if you think I'm gonna pay for this, you... Uh, yeah! <laughs> Freaking love Farnham. Farnham, you're the man. Super cool. I, I, after this, I'm gonna go and look for the Chamber of Wood. <laughs> what ails you, my friend? Hey, man. I want to talk about the Chamber of Bone. This sounds like a very dangerous place. If you venture there, please take great care. Mm, didn't have much to add to the conversation, huh? Hello, Zah. Oh, what can I do for you? Ah, no, nothing in this place. Ah. But you may try asking Kane. He talks about many things. And we're not surprised maybe he had some answers to your question. Yeah. Would not surprise me either. I just spoke to him. I got Greetings, some good master. Welcome to the tavern of the... I'm afraid that I don't know anything about that good master. Kane has many books that may be of some help. Yeah, no one really knows about this then. Let's... Good day. Uh, it would be surprising oh, if sorry. Jillian had something to add on this. I'm afraid that I haven't heard anything about that. No. Perhaps Kane the storyteller could be of some help. Hmm. Oh, and uh, if you're wondering why I'm so orange, it is not because I just became half Trump. <laughs> it's because I have uh, brown curtains and I'm using natural natural light, so it's just shining right through me. So I'm very orange at the moment. And also, I just came back from Romania, so I'm a little bit of a tan. Over here. Hey, Wirt, what's up? Mm, a vast and mysterious treasure, you say? Mm, maybe I could be interested in picking up a few things from you. Or better yet, don't you need some rare and expensive supplies to get you through this ordeal? That is a great point, Wirt. Let's check what you've got. Bow Giants, hey! Get back to me when uh, you have something that I can stick in the head of a demon. I'm not talking about arrows. Fighting from a distance. <laughs> you gotta get in there. Make sure the stuff dies. Okay, we're going to Adra. I sense a soul in some. You will become an eternal servant of the Dark Lords should you perish within this cursed domain. Enter the Chamber of Bone at your own peril. Well, some people that just sounds like a quick way to eternal life. You know? Hmm. Except you gotta spend eternity locked up in a room, but... I mean... Beggars can't be choosers if you want to have eternal life. Let's get in there. Oh, I don't have an automatic. I don't know, I, I just buy... Uh, reflex is press the map all the time. Uh, okay, so don't forget the long staff. We want that. Anything else I threw away around here? No. We already explored that room. It's time to go into the middle of this chamber of bone. Oh, jeez, that's a lot of skeletons. Yeah, okay, well. I'll take you on one by one. Let's do some holy bolting. You guys don't know who you're messing with, do you? I am the freaking mage warrior. And I have another one of these. Not enough mana. What did I drink? I got barely any mana from that. Come on. Holy bolt them. Jesus, there's a lot of uh, skeletons in this place. Should I let them out? Let's let's give them a fighting chance. So these are all the guys who previously wanted to wanted to get the treasure. Okay, this might have been a very bad idea to let them all out. Ugh. Now we're gonna have to actually use some of these tactics. Oh, and then the Unseen comes. Of course they do. Oh. Oh no, now I'm gonna be cornered. Come on. Think I'm scared of you, skeletons? I am not. Whew. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, well, that added some extra uh, excitement. I thought I was in more trouble than I ended up actually being there. This guy was just... The, the classic guy who didn't know what direction everyone else went when they went out. Like, huh, huh, took both directions in the door and then... <laughs> uh, took the wrong direction. Okay. Well, there's still... Come on. I just want to see what's in there. Get out of my way. Get out of here. Don't care about you. Just die. Oof. And that. Cut off the head. Sound effect. Love it. Oh, there was way more in here. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these are the... There's a lot of people that wanted this treasure. But they can, this guy's can take a hit, too. And I used almost all my potions just because I wanted the mana. Hmm, unexpected of me. Uh, okay, we got these horned uh, crazies. Get out of here. That goes for you as well. Those guys seem too big to go down so easily. The horned demons there. Not impressed. Their size doesn't seem to count for anything. And also, I don't envy them trying to get through doorways with that freaking horn. You would like hit the top of the doorway all the time. Come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> uh, okay, so ancient, ancient tome. Uh, is this gonna be the warrior reading, or are we gonna read in that cool voice that I'm be uh, that I've been looking for? I hope it's the cool voice. Let's see. Oh, what? Arcane knowledge gained. Oh, we just learned how to do guardian or hydra, as it's called in other games. That was it. But I'm not a mage. What do I need hydra for? Oh, is there anything else in here? No? Okay, well, I am officially disappointed. I had a submission, I guess. Uh, Chamber of Bone? Not the most interesting one, though. Except for maybe it being Diablo himself that set it up. And that would mean that Diablo himself locked away the knowledge to do the Hydra spell, or Guardian, as it's called here. Uh, I don't really see why he would do that. It's a, it's a little bit of an odd one. All right, so level six is done. Not the most exciting of levels. I hope level seven is going to be better. or we'll have a more interesting quest than what we did here. The Chamber of Bone, while sounding cool, uh, wasn't actually much. Not even lore-wise, very interesting. So, hmm, too bad, I guess. Oh, level seven. This presents endless possibilities for what can happen in the next episode. So that was it for uh, this time. In the next part, we'll be exploring this beautiful level 7. And I hope there's going to be something really freaking interesting in here. But until then, please, if you like the video, just press that little like button. That would be cool. And subscribe, hit the bell so you know when uh, part 7 comes out. And until then, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.